Recently, I went to a second-hand store to find this Schneider frequency counter. And of course, what struck me was that it has Nixie tubes, six of them. And of course, six Nixie tubes. Yeah, that screams to be turned into a clock. What I did was I, uh, I bought it, I disassembled it, I bought a clock circuit kit, a Nixie kit, and turned this into a clock. And I repurposed the, uh, the knobs on front and on the back. Actually, the first thing I did was uh, clean it up completely because it was quite dirty. It had been in a, in a rack mount. These uh, BNC connectors were all black. It turns out they are actually uh, made out of silver. And the buttons, some were missing their little tiny caps. So I made those from uh, moldable plastic. And I repurposed the, uh, the knobs, as you can see. So this is the on off switch. It's also a potential meter that's not used. It's used as an on off switch. And here you can see the clock running. Also, you see these two lights, they have no real purpose. So what I did was I um, used this uh, potentiometer to uh, change the brightness, but yeah, the potentiometer is quite of a high uh, resistance. So it's, it's hard to, uh, to use that for the lights. I can also only turn one light on or the other or do them both. These knobs have no function anymore. But I did also repurpose this button. That's the mode button. If you look at the back, then we see that uh, in these positions were also BNC connectors that I have taken out and put some new buttons on there. So these are buttons to operate the clock. This is the mode button. And with the buttons on the back, I can go through the settings Well, let's have a look inside. So the, the original um, power supply unit was not really suited for the uh, clock kit that I bought. So I decided to buy a different power supply unit. And that's over there. I won't touch it because there is mains there. Here you also see the moldable plastic that I used to um, firmly secure it in the, uh, in the box. Um, over here is the uh, Nixie uh, unit that I glued in there with epoxy. And missing now are these two PCBs that were here that contained really old pre-7400 TTL chips. The boards for the uh, Nixie tubes I've left in there, but I um, uh, cut the circuits so the, the, the electronics on there is no longer connected but by keeping the PCBs um, I could make sure that the uh, actual Nixie tubes are held in place. Also nice to know, to know is that there were two Nixie tubes with a dot and I repurposed those as well so we have to shuffle the Nixie tubes so the dots are in the correct positions. Now, a lot of work went into soldering all the wires uh, and make them come together and uh, hook them up to the uh, Nixie clock. The Nixie clock is uh, battery operated, so it keeps time even when the device is switched off. And there is also a little speaker um, and it has an alarm mode. So there it is, my uh, Nixie tube uh, clock project. And the only downside is that there is a small DIN here on the top left but you could also call that a uh, Patna, I guess. Thanks for watching.